Imagine this, a mysterious radio signal from deep space, arriving at Earth every 22 minutes consistently for over three decades. Scientists were baffled. Could it be a pulsar? A magnetar? Could it be aliens? Or something we've never seen before? Well, buckle up because today we're diving into one of the biggest cosmic mysteries ever detected. A signal that challenges everything we thought we knew about neutron stars and the extreme physics of space. Let's get into it. In 2022, astronomers using the Murchison Wide Field Array detected an unusual repeating radio signal, pulsing every 22 minutes. That alone was weird, but when they dug deeper, they found records of the same signal dating back to 1988. Most pulsars, rapidly spinning neutron stars, emit pulses as they rotate, but they usually spin incredibly fast, ranging from milliseconds to a few seconds per rotation. A pulsar taking 22 minutes? That's unheard of. To make things even weirder, the object's rotation has remained stable for 35 years, which is incredibly unusual for an energy-emitting neutron star. So where is this signal coming from? The source, named GPM J1839-10, is about 18,000 light years away. Its radio pulses last anywhere between 30 seconds and 5 minutes, arriving within a small time window centered on that 22 minute period. That may sound inconsistent, but in the chaotic world of neutron stars, it's actually quite stable. When astronomers analyze the data, they estimated that the source spins once every 21 minutes and 58 seconds, and that has hardly slowed down at all in 35 years. That's extremely unusual, because neutron stars typically slow down as they radiate energy into space. So why isn't this one slowing down? And what makes it so special? To understand why this is so strange, let's talk about pulsars. These are the incredibly dense cores of exploded stars, spinning like cosmic lighthouses and beaming intense radio waves into space. Here's how their light is produced. Near a pulsar's magnetic poles, electrons get accelerated and emit photons. These photons trigger a chain reaction creating even more electrons and positrons. This results in an intense beam of radio waves shooting out into space. Because a pulsar's magnetic poles don't usually align with its rotation axis, its beam sweeps across space like a lighthouse, creating the pulsing effect we observe. But here's the problem. Our 22 minute signal doesn't fit this model at all. Pulsars lose energy over time, which causes them to slow down. Eventually, they cross into what scientists call Death Valley, a point where they no longer produce radio waves. Looking at a chart of neutron stars, our signal is well within the Death Valley, meaning it shouldn't be emitting any radio waves at all. And yet, here we are, detecting it loud and clear. Even the slowest known pulsars spin once per second, but this one, once every 1,318 seconds. That's over a thousand times slower than a normal pulsar. So if it's not a pulsar, what else could it be? One possible explanation is that this is a magnetar, a neutron star with an ultra-powerful magnetic field. Magnetars sometimes experience star quakes where their crusts suddenly shift, unleashing bursts of energy. The strongest magnetar event ever recorded in 2004 was so powerful that if it had been just 10 light years away, it would have triggered a mass extinction on Earth. But here's the issue. Magnetar events fade within a few years, and this signal has been around for 35 years. Plus, magnetars usually produce X-ray emissions, but no X-rays have been detected from this source. So, that theory doesn't really hold up either. Another possibility? A highly magnetic white dwarf. White dwarfs are the remnants of less massive stars that didn't collapse into neutron stars. There's even one known radio pulsar white dwarf called AR SCO, but its emissions are 1000 times weaker than what we see here from the GPM J1839-10. So if this were a white dwarf, it would need an absurdly strong magnetic field, one that we've never observed before. Could this signal be coming from something even stranger? Some scientists have suggested interactions between stars and exoplanets or binary brown dwarf systems. 
But again, these sources produce signals millions of times weaker than what we're detecting. So after considering all the possibilities, we still don't have a clear answer. This is the best kind of scientific mystery, the kind that forces us to rethink what we know. Neutron stars are already some of the strangest objects in the universe, and yet GPM J1839-10 is challenging even our best models. And of course we have to ask, could this signal be artificial? Could it be coming from an advanced extraterrestrial civilization? While the idea of aliens is always intriguing, scientists tend to look for natural explanations first. But if we ever detect patterns, modulations, or other anomalies in the signal that suggest intelligent design, then we may need to consider the possibility that we're not alone. But what if there are more of these slow-spinning, mysteriously stable radio sources out there? Scientists believe we might already have data on similar objects just waiting to be discovered. Whatever the answer is, it could lead to a brand new understanding of how neutron stars and magnetic fields work. We could be on the brink of uncovering a completely new type of astrophysical object. So what do you think is causing this bizarre 22 minute radio signal? A pulsar breaking the rules? A super magnetized white dwarf? Or something entirely new, like an alien civilization? Drop your theories in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing space mysteries. Until next time, keep looking up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.